It's all about the red, white, and blue and sharing with my wreath loving friends how I created these brand new three patriotic wreaths. Guys, if you're new here, my name is Tracy. I love to share crafty ideas with a bit of rustic country charm. If you're not already subscribed, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. All right, guys, let me share how I created these three patriotic wreaths. First up is this proud to be an American burlap and mesh wreath. I'm going to use a 14 inch wire frame. This one is from the Dollar Tree. And then this is going to be the sign for the center of my wreath. And that came from the Dollar Tree as well. Now I'm going to be putting the 10 inch burlap mesh that I get from Hobby Lobby. And I'll put 20 bundles of the three 10 inch mesh. And then I'm going to have 20 bundles. And then I'm going to have four sets of ribbon. I'm going to have this one uh, that's going to be together. This is from Hobby Lobby these two this one's from Walmart uh, this I got I think from craft outlet this is from Hobby Lobby and then this one is from Hobby Lobby as well this is from craft outlet as well as this one this one is I think it's from the Dollar Tree yeah I think that one's from the Dollar Tree and then this one is from craft outlet this one is from Amazon and then this one is from Hobby Lobby and so I'm going to cut five sets of uh, each of these bundles and then that will give me the 20, um, 20 sets of ribbon to put into this wreath. And this is how all of my ribbon bundles look and I also pulled out some raffia and just made some bows that I'm going to be putting into one of these bundles just to give it uh, a more country look. And I think that that's going to tie in really good with my rustic sign. So on this rustic wreath, what I did is I attached uh, four bundles of just the two uh, with the burlap and the snowball mesh. I just attached two of those. I did four. And then I have this that I've decided to add. I'm going to cut a 14 inch strip of this and I'm going to put um, that on the ring every fourth one just to give it just a little color to match that rustic sign. So here is how this um, base looks. I have 20 of the two uh, 10 inch burlaps and then I have six of the red and silver and blue. And so what I'm gonna do is just zigzag and put the 20 bundles of the four ribbons together in just around this wreath and um, I'm not going to put it in every tie because that would be too much ribbon so I'm just going to zigzag it until it looks uh, the way that I like. This is how my wreath looks with the 20 bundles of ribbon uh, in it. This sign it ha is, has you know it's not attached all the way and it has this space and so in order for it to to put uh, you know, in the center of my wreath, what I'm gonna do is use one of these hearts from Valentine's Day that I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna Mod Podge this um, paper on here, and then I'm going to glue this on there so that you know I have something to attach to my wreath and that, you know, so that it's more stable. All right, I'm going to give you just a little behind the scenes uh, as some of you um, that have been following me for a while or if you're new, I like to add dimension to my projects. And so what I mean, I like to lift them up a little. I think it just adds depth and dimension. And one of my favorite ways to add dimension is these tumbling tower blocks that I get from the Dollar Tree. Also, I have been starting to use this thick fun foam that now I think I got this at Hobby Lobby a few years ago. I, I need to look next trip to see if they still have it, but I could always double it up. Anyway, so on this sign, that's what I did. I went ahead and Mod Podge the paper on there and then I just lifted it up by cutting strips of this um, fun foam. And you can kind of see that here, I can kind of cut it to the size that I need versus having to get out the little saw and cut those down. So anyway, just wanted to pass that tip along. And then to get it to dry, um, what I did is the reason I have all those clips on there is because I let it dry with some E6000 and some hot glue and clipped those on just to make sure that everything was nice and secure.
And I use my cable ties and some pipe cleaners to attach to the back of the heart. Then I'll thread it through and that is how I attach my signs to my wreaths. I wanted to pass the t this tip along. I got this from another wreath maker. They um, suggested these large loop yarn needles from Hobby Lobby or any uh, fabric store would have them. Anyway, you could just, I just hook the pipe cleaner on there and then that just kind of helps thread it through uh, to the back of the wreath and then I attach it to the frame. Embellishments, I'm going to add some of these berries that I picked up from Walmart a few seasons ago and then some of these uh, like little bowl fillers and scatters that I got from Hobby Lobby. Now got those a few years ago uh, and uh, had them on hand and then um, I'm just going to attach them with a dowel stick to uh, attach them and stick them into my wreath. And I add a hanger to each of my wreaths with this grapevine wire. Uh, I just get it from Hobby Lobby or any craft store that sells it like this is grapevine wire. You can also find it on Amazon. And then I just attach that, you know, in the middle so it hangs nicely. And then to cover the back so that everything looks complete, what I do is I like to put placemats on the back of my wreaths. And uh, I usually like to get a bunch of these on, at um, Hobby Lobby during the fall season when they had them on sale. And then I just take some extra, you know, pipe cleaners and then I just attach it to the frame all the way around and then if I don't have these I'll use the placemats from Dollar Tree or anywhere I can find nice um, placemats to cover the back. Guys, do you know that I have a Wreath Basics playlist that I have all of my Wreath Basics tutorial of how I cut my 10 inch mesh, how I make my cruffles, how I work with 21 inch mesh, how I add my embellishments. And so you can easily find that underneath any video description. There should be uh, underneath the helpful links, there is a Wreath Basics playlist. You can click on that or go to my main page and you can click Click under the popular videos, the Wreath Basics playlist, and it will open up and share any uh, of the Wreath Basics uh, tutorials that I have available right now on my channel. Next wreath is this Primitive Country Burlap Deco Mesh Wreath. For this uh, next wreath project, I'm using a 14 inch wire frame. And now this one came from the Dollar Tree. I'm also using it, these three 10 inch mesh that I get from, they're all from Hobby Lobby. I'm also going to be using some tan pipe cleaners. Now I'm gonna cut my mesh at uh, 12 inches. I put them all three together, tie them onto this wreath. There is a, um, of how I do this in my wreath basics tutorial in uh, underneath this video under my helpful links if you would like to see exactly how I cut my mesh put my bundles together and tie them on to my wreath form. all right this is how my mesh looks on this wreath this is like probably my favorite base wreath right now. Uh, I have 20 bundles of mesh on here. And since I have uh, three sets of ribbon that I wanna put on, I'm gonna cut six sets and then I'll need to cut an extra one of two, uh, you know, to make 20. And then I will put, I will put my ribbon into the ties into the uh, pipe cleaners uh, just to make a very full wreath. And then I will put on my sign. All right, these are the ribbons I'm gonna use in this wreath. And then this is the sign. I picked this up at Dollar General uh, either last year or the year before, but I'm just pulling out the colors of ribbon from this you know, sign that I did is a yard stake. And I just took them um, off of the yard stake. I'm just going to be using these and get rid of the yard stake or use it for for a different project. These are one set of ribbon. This came from Joann's. 
This came from Craft Outlet and this came from Hobby Lobby. Guys, I get my ribbon from everywhere. Craft Outlet, Craft Outlet and Hobby Lobby. Uh, Walmart, Craft Outlet and Hobby Lobby. So, you know, I usually find my ribbons at, you know, anywhere I can find cute ribbon, craft store, online, or at uh, Walmart. All right, I cut this ribbon at 13 inches. I just used my Perfect Tails board. This is from Bo uh, Burlap Boutique. And this is my little tiny attacher. It just puts a teeny tiny little staple in there and then I can gather it together. Uh, I got this from the craft store or if you can't find it in the craft store, you can check out my Amazon shop because it is listed in there. Okay, for this next set of ribbon, I just put this one uh, and this mini polka dot together. I just crisscross them. I cut these at 13 inches. Now for this one, um, what I did is I measured out 36 inches. I made a four inch loop on each side. I just stapled it in the middle uh, because I wanted a longer tail. So this is about an eight inch tail. And then when I put those in my tie, I'm gonna put that together like that so that my tail stick out a little bit farther and I can see all of these stars. And then for the third set, what I did is I just crisscross those two and then put this um, one that I got from Hobby Lobby in the middle. I cut them at 13 inches and then I just used my tiny attacher just to staple them all together. So then now I have all of my bundles ready to go. So all I have to do is open the pipe cleaner and then just alternate them in a zigzag pattern. For this ribbon set, I decided to put some raffia in. Uh, this wreath, I like to get this raffia from Walmart. And I just tied uh, several strands of it together, just, uh, you know, in some loops just to make the bow. And, uh, you know, then that is what I'm going to include into this wreath. And this is how my wreath looks with all of the three sets of ribbon, the uh, raffia, and all of the other little bows. And then now I'm gonna put on my sign. So uh, for this little sign, like I said, it was on a stake that I took it off of the stake. I'm just going to use the sign. And again, it came from Dollar General. I got that a couple of years ago. Anyway, what I did is I added some black doodles and some white highlights. And then I'm going to attach it to my wreath with the cable ties I like to use. And it just thread it on, uh, you know, through the mesh with some uh, pipe cleaners. All right, I've decided to add some pit berries that have these little stars on them. Someone had given me um, a bunch of these. I'm not quite sure where they got them from, but um, they asked me if I wanted them. And so, of course, I did. And so also what I did is I added some Excelsior to just different parts around the wreath. And then I'm going to stick in some pit berries, you know, just to tie in all the primitive country-ness uh, of this wreath. All right, so um, I put a hanger on my wreaths with this wire. It's a grapevine wire um, that I pick up from Hobby Lobby or any floral uh, section. And then to cover the backs of my wreaths, I like to use placemats. I like these uh, that I get from the fall season from Hobby Lobby and I just attach them to the frame with the extra pipe cleaners uh, so that it just makes the wreath uh, look nice. I also like to make grapevine wreaths and this one is sharing a red, white, and blue patriotic grapevine wreath. All right, I'm gonna add some greenery to this grapevine wreath. And I have some of this large fern. I'm not gonna use all of it. I'm just gonna be cutting off pieces of it. And then I have this ficus. Uh, I think both of these are from Walmart. But you know, you can get these at any place that sells greenery usually. But these are what I have that I'm going to cut off stems of those and stick them in. I'm gonna be using my glue pot. 
Um, it's just a skillet that I have that I've had for a long time. And I just cut up Gorilla Glue sticks and let that melt uh, to a honey consistency. And then that is what I stick uh, the stems into and then glue them into my wreath. So I'm going to make like a crescent or like uh, this part of the wreath. Uh, I like to do that with a grapevine wreath, especially when I'm doing something patriotic. Uh, and so I just added this first layer of greenery on here. And uh, then I'm going to leave this part. I'm going to add some ficus on there. And then like right here is where I'm going to put my bow. So I picked up this beautiful bouquet of flowers from Hobby Lobby. Uh, that has, you know, lots of reds, whites, and blues. It has roses and um, lilies and, you know, just different greenery and, and berries and stuff in it. And so I'm going to cut a few pieces of this apart. I'm not going to use the whole thing because it'll be too much, but I'm going to cut pieces apart and stick it into the wreath. guys uh to make my bow i'm using my easy bow maker that i got from deco exchange again the link is in my link tree if you would like to you know find out a little bit more about the easy bow maker and so i'm using this metallic two and a half inch ribbon to start my bow so what i did is i made um two five inch loops probably about, I don't know, a 10 inch tail. I just dovetailed that. And then uh, for the second layer, I just made two more five inch loops. And then I just have my tails going this way and then that way. And I like that it gives a little bit of character to the bow. So then I have my four loops, um, five inch loops on the base. And then what I'll do is I will add uh, more ribbon to the bow to make a very um, whimsical and full bow for this My next layer. I'm using this two and a half inch plaid ribbon. I think I got this from Amazon a few years ago. And what I did is I just made two loops. And for my tails, I just put uh, one tail going this way and the other one going this way. And then I just took my scissors and dovetailed the ends. Um, you can do it at the end of the bow, but I just find it easier. I stay on track if I do it along the way. Next layer, I am using this burlap with the gingham on the edges. This is the navy blue. This is from Hobby Lobby. And I just made loops and uh, just did one one way and then did the other loop the other way so I would have the tails. And I just think that the tails just give it uh, added character to the bow. For my next layer, I'm using um, this one and a half inch. Uh, I have the, I bought two rolls. I bought the one and a half and I bought the two and a half inch. Uh, again, I'm not quite sure. I can't remember where I got that from. Anyway, so I just made four loops uh, and the tails, I just have one going this way and one going this way. For my last layer, I'm using this one and a half inch white with the red gingham on the edges. Now this came from Walmart during the Christmas season. And uh, so it's perfect for, you know, other holidays, not just for Christmas. Uh, anyway, so what I did is I just made uh, six loops, three on each side. And then I have this tail going this way, this tail going this way. And so now I think I'm finished. I will go ahead and attach uh, my pipe cleaner. I will thread it through. Um, you know, I'm going to put my bow around that area and fluff it out. And then I will add some flowers and just greenery uh, in between the bow just to tie everything together. And then I just threaded the uh, pipe cleaner through the grapevine. I don't go around it. I thread it through. And one thing that I got to help me is one of these... Um, yarn needles. I got it from Hobby Lobby in the yarn section. Anyway, and so that helped me uh, hook the pipe cleaner on and pull it through the grapevine. I saw another wreath maker do that and I was uh, so appreciative and so I'm just passing that little tip along. So then this is how um, just by adding some of that greenery in the bow and just filling it 
all around with different flowers and the berries and greenery and all that stuff just makes this great vine wreath look really pretty um for a sign i'm going to be using one of these metal signs um from the dollar tree i have red and i have blue uh, i think i'm going to do red and so what i'm going to do is put some greenery here so that you know it kind of fills in around the truck so when I added my greenery and my truck on there, I, it leaves the spot right here. So I'm going to make a very uh, smaller bow and add it right there. And then hopefully this wreath will be finished. And if you would like to uh, see what other patriotic crafts I do have available on my channel, I do have a playlist as well as all of the different wreaths that I have done that I do have a video tutorial for. That is also in my helpful links as well as on my main channel. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate your continued support and we'll talk to y'all very soon. God bless.